Oh, yeah. Blanco for 75. Ooh. Ooh. Uh. Hi, well, today we are at the Habitat for Humanity Restore. Yeah, this is their new location. This is the first time we're here. Um, it's been a couple weeks since they opened. Yeah. Um, don't forget, this Friday is the big cat sale and whatnot. We have a link in the description to get $15 off your first purchase. Um, it doesn't even have to be from us. Yeah. So make sure you go click that. I want everybody to save money. Um, let's get inside and see what we can find to resell. Now, this is kind of nice that you move into a plaza when they have stuff displayed in the window. Okay. Um, yeah, I know, right? Oh, look how big it is. All right, let me start with a cart. Ooh, look at the mushroom. Yeah, Blanco for 75. Ooh, 25% uh, uh, off, I think. Do we get it? I think so. All right, let's go back here. Ah, there we go. Okay, where to start? Any lucite candles? Nope. <laughs> that looks like camper. Oh, it is, and it's broken. <laughs> Why? That makes me cry. What about the mugs? All right, I'm not seeing any here. Dream big. <laughs> kind of like that. I always see these. Oh, is that for eggs? It's kind of cool. It's only two dollars. Some platters, pasta bowl. I had pasta yesterday. It's Three dollars, a nice blue vase. It's more modern. It's a cross. Does this say right? That says Rite Aid. <laughs> oh, and here's a uh, pottery dish. And I already see a crack, but I want to see who made it. And of course, it's a signature I can't read. <laughs> here's their um, display case. I always forget who makes those. <laughs> Oh boy, there's some um, rainbow glass, six dollars each. What is that back there? Something matic, optomatic. Oh, look at that face. All right, I gotta look at that. <laughs> oh boy. Ooh. Okay. Let me see who made that. I gotta turn it around. I think that says Vemi's, Venny's Crystal. That, it almost looks like it'd be French. Let me look it up quick. All right, so some of their vases or their crystal sells for some good money. Um, this one only sells for about 40 to 45. So I'm gonna leave that. It's a cute vase. No signatures, but this looks like they'll be Mikasa. There's a McCoy. Oops, sorry. <laughs> McCoy has some um, defects though. They're $12. All right, so they changed the 25% off discount to Thursday. So we're gonna wait on the mushroom. Um, I'm looking at this with a deer on it. Oh, it's chipped. It's Greek. Okay, I'm just looking at this. Oh, there's the price. Is that a dollar? Is that a dollar? 
Might be. This is made in England. Ooh, well, let's get that. If there's no damage, but I always like these ceramic hobbyists. 1972 ashtray. I mean, that's a dollar. I don't like the brown, though. When I look for these, I'm looking for the orange or blue. Ah, I know what this is. It's to um, sweep crumbs in. <laughs> it's like a bu the butler would do that, and then they have a broom. And you would sweep it in here. Hyde Park. <laughs> look at those mice. Ooh, I gotta look at that. Look how cute that is. For five bucks. I love you truly. <sighs> Wait. Can you wind it up? I don't know which way you would turn it. Make sure it works. There you go. Um, is that repaired? No. All right, so that's that's supposed to move. It doesn't. Oh, there it goes. Uh, maybe it just didn't do it enough. Maybe it has to be level. All right. Well, I'm getting that for five bucks. Look at this set. Hmm. Oh, you got the creamer. Balbalino dish set. Bring this slip to the right. It's $40. That's not bad for the set, though. Yeah, might as well look at those. Eden, Czecho, Czechoslovakia. <laughs> Czech. Chad finds $50 for the set. What about this green enamel down here? That's 30. All right, let's see if there's anything over here. We have some of these at home. <laughs> Look at this frog. It's a lazy frog. <laughs> Looks like it could be um, not in a pond. Ooh, it is. <laughs> Four dollars. Look at this angel teapot. That's Avon. For ten. This looks like the cat's meow. No, it's not. Okay. I was tricked into buying all these all the cat meows before and they never sold so I stay clear from those maybe some of them sell well what is that? what's that music box that's going? yes <laughs> I like this that looks Italian how much are they? is it? five dollars guys he's got a game written all over Okay, right, so I think I'm gonna get this for five. It has lemons on it. Um, it looks like it'd be Italian. I'll do that. People like lemons. I think that's a lemon. See, I, 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 I don't know anymore. <laughs> All right. Um, that's mass produced. We have that lamp over there, oil lamp. Oh yeah, it is. Ooh, 65. This is just the um, Google. Make sure you don't go by that. You look at the sold comps. Yeah. And also how many people have it listed. Anything made in Italy, I like. <laughs> Especially the pottery. Mm-hmm. Italy and Portugal. Look at this butterfly tray. That's hand-painted. Made in China. Yeah, a lot of damage, but I like that look. I like butterflies, I think. This little figurine made in Japan. It's a praying girl with her. Her little braid is broken off. ND. I keep forgetting where 
that is made. Is that um Christmas tree shop? Hmm. Is it Christmas tree shop or Bed Bath Beyond? I don't know anymore. Let me see about these. It's Bavaria made in Germany. Five dollars. It's not too bad. I wish there was a cup for each saucer though. Alright, let's look around and see what else they have. All the lamps. Oh, it's just furniture, but we're actually looking for something for our booth, so this is perfect. If we could find something that we could afford, though. <laughs> Take a look at this. Ooh, I like it. Oh, it's wobbly. Let me see, what is the price? Ah, oh, 55. Mm. Sorry, but for to display stuff, I'm going cheap. <laughs> Maybe some yard sales. What about these? These are mid-century. I wonder. And these would fit in the car. Right. Here is a lamp land. Consolidated, made to look like milk glass. Let's see. This one is cool. It has butterflies on it. Are they butterflies or bees? Let me see how much that is. Um, it was twelve ninety nine at Goodwill. <laughs> um, so it's missing something. Yeah, it's missing the. I don't know what you call it. The bracket. Man, it's so old. Yeah, it's older. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, a little bit older. Uh, probably nineteen ninety three. Oh wow. What is this? It said five dollars. It's eighty-five. It's an old radio. That is awesome. FM. <laughs> That's metal. I would say nineteen fifties. I wouldn't mind that for the booth either. Here's all the guts. If anybody wants to see it. <laughs> Man, it probably doesn't work. Made in Germany? Holy moly. <laughs> Take a look at this wicker lamp. It has bamboo going all the way down by the cord. This looks like it'd be 1950s or 60s. Look, it even comes with a shade. Oh my gosh, there's no price on it. I don't see one. Ooh, it fell off. All right, I'm gonna ask for a price for this. I mean, we're going to the booth so I could bring it right there. This is a little bit loose. I don't know how you fix that though. All right, so we got the lamp for $10. <laughs> she only charged me $10 and we tested it and it works. So this is going in the booth. I can't wait. Um, I'm just gonna put some polish, maybe, if they have any. And, um, the Antique Mall, they're pretty good about helping to fix anything. Have mercy. Oh, wait. <laughs> you found a hat. <laughs> Work it, Lucille Ball. <laughs> so I'm gonna show everybody some items I'm gonna be doing on Whatnot. I haven't scheduled it yet. I'll let you know. Make sure you click the link in the description to get $15 off your first purchase. But first and foremost, we're going to show you the most expensive thing we have and that we found at Goodwill. This vase right here, thanks to one of our viewers, um, they told us to immediately go back to Goodwill and get it. And they were right. So we paid $7.99 for this pottery vase. Um... 
made, handmade, and it's supposed to say Waco, W-A-C-O. Um, I'll pull up a picture of a recent sold comp. This vase can sell for over $300, and we only paid $7.99. <laughs> I'm like blown away by that. It's, we haven't found something like this in a long time. Um, thank you so much for telling us to go back and get it. Okay, so let me carefully put that aside. I still have to take the sticker off. All right, next I'm going to show you what we got at the Antique Mall. So after the discount, um, we ended up spending $19 on this. This is Ellie Smith. I believe the Simplicity line, 1960s, if I can remember. Um, so I'm going to start this out at... 30 35 dollars you could go and pre-bid on anything you want i'll put that aside the cats i'm going to show you later oh we got all of these pins they finally came in i mean these brooches look at this flower one this one is definitely different 1960s green with a blue almost like a 3d effect this one is a little bit larger that one, this one is different. It has pearls in there. Um, I think one of them might be missing. Right there. Oh, I just noticed that. But this one is definitely older. You can tell by the pin. Um, and then the backing. This one is a white one. If you want something simple, it's vintage. This one is perfect for 4th of July. Um, is that a boo-boo? Might be a little... Nope, it's coming off. Now I gotta wash my hands. <laughs> yeah, so this is a larger one. 1960s, I would say. This nice um, green... Vintage green rose. And then this one. I love this green. You can see the back. It has the V. A little bit of um, paint loss on the back, but... And a little bit on the front. Yeah, there is right on the edges. But if you're artistic, you could try to just paint those in. Or you could just leave it like that. Can't really notice too much. Alright, then I'm going to do the, the um, micro mosaic pen. I was trying to see if it said Italy on the back. It doesn't. But look at all of the detail. I can just imagine how long this took to make. This is a pendant, not a pen. I think I said pen. <laughs> yeah, so that's gonna... I can't wait to do that. And then we're gonna do the Q Made in Hong Kong Salt and Pepper Shaker Owls. You can see they're marked Hong Kong. Um, no damage on those. Oh, this! Ooh. I found this during my live whatnot shop along sale. So they have this in the case for $35. Um, nobody bought it and it was discounted down to $10. I think with tax it was 10 something. Only $10 for a Yadro. Um, I believe they sell for 50 to 60. So I'm gonna be starting this out at $35. I think that's a good price for that. So if you're a Yadro collector, um, this I'm going to be doing the Fenton Corsage Rose. That I'm going to be starting out at 30 And this back here, this owl, you put a tea light in there. This is vintage. It says made in Hong Kong. A little bit of a dent there, but you could try to bend that back. So the bottom twists out and the whole bottom comes out. I think this is awesome. It's iron. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do this here. Ah! Glass, art glass vase. I can't remember how much I'm going to start that out at. That's pretty. I love the turquoise and the, the lava texture. I found that at Goodwill. And then I found this box at uh, a estate sale. I don't think I showed it anybody. We have the Indians. It's um, a little box. I don't know what you would put in it. 
um, some carvings up there and it's beaded. Look at the beadwork on that. I could just imagine how long it took to make that. No signatures. I'll be doing that. And then I found this while I was doing my live shop along sale. Talavera Pottery. It's marked L-E-M. Heco Mexico. <laughs> um, at first I thought it was a pie dish, but it's a wall hanging. So I'm going to be doing that on there. Alright, here are a few more items I'm going to be doing. Let me start with that one. This is the Moon and Star Pink Glass. Um, this is to hang jewelry, rings, necklaces, whatever you want. A little bit of cloudiness right here that I couldn't get out. Um, a little bit of cloudiness there. I don't think th there's no chips or cracks. I'm not sure what I'm going to start that out at yet. Um, then we have a Mary Gregory green vase. Um, I don't think it's supposed to be a decanter. I don't know, but there's no damage on that. Just like the, the pontal mark, a little swirl on the bottom. I'm going to be doing the Holt Howard mug 1968 have this thing forever i tried selling it somewhere else i forget where this pottery bowl is canadian pottery i always forget what the ccc means but i'm gonna be doing that and the sterling silver baroche and it's mark sterling on the back and a few more items I'm going to show you before before I show you the items for our cat sale this Friday at 5 o'clock. Um, this is the sterling silver thimble, and it is marked, and I already forget what is marked, um, but I remember seeing 925. I'll have to look for it again, but I know people collect thimbles, and this one is sterling silver. Then I'm going to do the rest of these made in Denmark Santas. Um, they're wood, and this almost feels like real fur. It definitely is, I could tell. So I'm going to be doing these individually. These kind of went well in our my last whatnot sale. I'm going to show everybody more cat items we're doing. Um, oh, and these. I remember I got this at a state sale. I think this is made in Japan, the UTTC or UCTC. Something like that. I know Lisa Larson made... Um, something similar to that there we go more light okay then i'm not i don't think i'm gonna do the cross but i'm gonna be listing this on ebay and then this pottery it is signed g well pottery vase all right now for the cats this right here is really heavy it's chalkware look at wait let me place him or her like that look she's hunting Oh my gosh, it actually looks scary. This is made by Leymart Originals 1978. Um, a little bit of paint loss, but that's normal with chalkware. Yeah, this is extremely heavy, so we're doing that in the whatnot sale. Um, of course, we're doing the Made in Germany Cats on a Couch. Oh, and this one is awesome. <sighs> okay. This is one out of all the cats that I would keep. Look at the bottom. California Pottery USA. It has the mid-century eyes. Um, I just noticed that. Uh, it looks like it was repaired. But this is something where if it's repaired like that, it's still worth money. Look at the green eyes. I love it. If it doesn't sell, I'm keeping it. <laughs> we have this plastic bank lion with blue rhinestone eyes made by napco wear and it has a sticker so there's two marks on there all right and then i got this from facebook marketplace's back rat crystal cat um it does have a little flea bite right here and then there's this mark right here can you see it it goes it looks like a um like a mold line I don't think it's a crack or a scratch, but I'm going to be doing that. That's going to start out at 25 or 30. I think these sell for over 100. Beautiful crystal. I love Baccarat. Um, we're doing the cute 
Ralpo cat planter. Little cute eyes, and it has blue whisker dots. <laughs> Green eyes. Oh, and these. These two cats we got at a live auction, an in-person auction. These are the Jim Beam decanters. Oops, let me turn it around. Jim Beam decanters, 1967. So you have that one with the blue eyes, and then this one with the yellow greenish eyes, kind of. So I wonder if I wonder if one's supposed to be male and one female. But these are super cute. Even though they're decanters, you, if you put the head on, you can't really tell too much. They just look like statues. Well, that is it for tonight. I have to start listing these items. Don't forget to click the link in the description to get your $15 off um, for your first purchase on whatnot. I want everybody to save money. So uh, running a auction on eBay for some of the items I found um, the other day at Goodwill, the Daisy Cups, Michael's pack and stuff. Okay, I'll see everybody next time. Bye!